Queen Anita was also in our three stars in the last edition of our magazine last season, and the handball legend once again proved why she has this status. Gerbitz is always there in the most important moments, and with 16 goals in total, she was the weekend's top scorer and certainly deserves her place in this category. She can play any number of roles and is convincing on the wing, as well as in the back area as playmaker. She has vision and is not afraid of picking up possession and playing it to her teammates. The Hungarian brunette was also ice cold at penalties. With the victory over Varda, Gerbitz won her third title, but the first with the support of her son. The second lady in our three stars embodies pure power. Black Robert's dynamism and will to win were especially helpful to Varda this weekend. She was also a player in the right place at the right time. She got 13 goals in all over the two matches. In the semi-final, Varda gave a demonstration of power and bowled Bucharesti over. Black Robert was ruthless and full of passion in that match. We're looking forward to what the 30-year-old can do in the future. It was her first appearance at the Women's EHF Champions League Final Four and we're now massive fans of this lady. May we introduce the MVP for this season, Nika Groot. The Dutch player certainly deserved to take this trophy home. She displayed great vision as playmaker and was not afraid to go for goal herself. She got five goals against Budujnost and bettered that with six in the final against Varda. She was a key player the whole season long and alongside her goals, she weighed in with a number of assists for her team. After last season's defeat, you could sense the desire of Groot and the relief when she finally landed her first Women's EHF Champions League trophy.